Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at 100% Rainbow Max Lynx LR Carnival Future Gohan. We just took a look at the trunks, um, and now we're going to take a look at the alternative, I guess, uh, like sort of pair character that came out alongside him with Future Gohan here. Uh, so Max Lynx, and then my build that I went for him is mostly additionals with some dodge. Uh, now, this character does have a built-in crit mechanic where once he has the domain out, he does do guaranteed crits when you activate the active skill and when his key is 24, which is very easy to do considering how good this character's key mechanic is. Um, but for the first four turns, or you know, prior to his domain being active, uh, there definitely is merit, I think, to giving him crit if you want to do more damage early on in the fight. So I don't really know if there's like a quote-unquote wrong way to build this character, but um, for me... Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of instances where I'm putting this character in slot one. And if this character takes a super before he's able to attack, he could take a lot of damage. And so I think dodge, you know, there's there's some merit to going dodge. Um, but of course, additional, I think, is going to be the better play for this character just because he's getting, of course, defense on super attack effect. Right. Um, and then also he's building up his stats via attacking in his passive. So uh i think additionals is uh, gonna supplement those mechanics a lot better than um crits or, or or dodges um i gave him a level six defense bronze skill orb as well um so he's looking at 13.3k defense we're gonna jump into the freeze of red zone here i mean i'm gonna make the same comment i made with the trunks in his showcase and that is you get the domain on turn five with this character except I'm not really sure how much value you're going to see out of the domain in the current landscape of the game, because a lot of these events are just over so fast that you, pretty much what happens is you're going to get the domain with this character, and then on that same turn, you're going to kill the enemy. Like, that's the end of the fight, which I guess is fine if you want to think about the domain as a finishing move, which I actually might say that's probably the way you should think about it right now. Like, it's the same thing as Trunks to standby. Trunks gets his standby, and then you win the fight. You're not really going to see the sort of hope with Trunks, right? Because the thing with Trunks is you get the standby with him and then you're not going to the next rotation and then coming back to the Trunks rotation, right? The fight is going to be done. Whereas with this Gohan, right? This Gohan gets the domain and then he gets his active skill on the same turn and you could probably end the fight that turn, right? With all the damage that future Gohan's going to be doing plus all the, uh, all the allies that are attacking with the domain active. It's going to be pretty strong, so... Again, thinking of the domain as a finisher of this future Gohan, I think is probably the way you want to think about it. But let's go ahead and jump in with uh, this setup here. Future Gohan's own Future Saga team. Uh, we'll see how everything looks here. 830k HP, huh? <laughs> wow, these rotations suck. Whatever, we, we can't afford to jump back out. I'm going to turn the skip off. And uh, let's go. ランクス。この先を見ろ。まだ見ぬ敵を宇宙最強を。お前が誇り高くサイヤ人の血を引く者ならば、俺の息子ならば誰にも負けることは許さん。俺超えてみせます。目の前の敵も父さんも。サイ
Yeah, he's probably dead. Okay. I mean, there's pros and cons to letting him live, right? If we don't kill him, then we get to prolong the fight. If we do kill him, we're going to have more HP to play with with future Gohan next turn to get his passive built up more of the additionals. We'll see. Yeah, mine should dodge all these. All right, I mean, I think as long as Vegeta and Trunks don't crit, we should be fine here. He should live. Yeah, okay, actually that worked out pretty well, I think. Because now we're guaranteed to hit turn six in this fight. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I'm gonna leave mine on rotation because I just want to. I think mine is gonna be probably a little better than the friend. What is the friend skill orb situation here? Um, this build's pretty good. 17 additional, 12. I like this. Uh, he gave a lot of attack skill orbs, huh? So he's gonna have. This, so his is gonna have higher attack. Mine's gonna have higher defense. Um, I think I'll just leave mine on rotation. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to try and... Do we think we, he can live a super from Gohan? If we don't crit, I think it's possible he could live. We'll see. We'll see. Best case scenario is Frieza lives this first attack. Okay, yeah, this is fine. We have damage reduction. So. Yeah. All right, Gohan. Let's see. All right, obviously not a terribly good attack. Stat 3.2. Live this. Don't crit. Perfect. Okay, that's really good. Cause wait, he didn't additional. Huh. Okay. Damn. Was hoping we'd get the additional there to get the extra stack, but whatever. Guess we can get a stack for Fichito here. Whatever. All right. Uh, I'm gonna leave this int future Gohan here because I want to have the friend future Gohan next to the int future Gohan. I think. Um, let's just, let's just kill. See, well, I don't know if we can kill, but we'll do as much damage as possible here. Okay, that's fine. 350, huh? Well, that was quite a bit of damage. I mean, we have 800k HP on this team, so it, that's, that looks like a lot of damage, but like it really, in, in the grand scheme of things, is not that bad. Right. Yeah, we're definitely not going to kill here. It's fine. Okay. He's going to transform. I, I'm just going to kick him off. We have Vegeta and Trunks on this rotation now, so I want to have them linked up next to Fujiko. I think they share five links. Pretty good. We're actually going through this really slow, which is exactly what we want. Uh, they don't share anything, right? Yeah, okay. Let's just do this, and then we'll just give him key. Just feed him key. Uh, he's at 206,000 defense. Remember, he's gaining a decent amount of defense when he attacks. Which again, I mean, he's got 60% damage reduction in slot one, thanks to his intro buff plus the base 20% damage reduction. But with only 206,000 defense, if this was like a really tough boss, like let's just say, for instance, we were going up against red zone uh, Zamasu. Um, in slot one, even with the 60% damage reduction, like he could take real damage from the boss, which is the main reason why I, I decided to give him some dodge. All right, let's go. All right, 7 million. Pretty good. All right, feature Gohan. Let's see how many additionals you can give us here. Want him to build up his stats and stuff. Okay, there's a normal. Normal. I think the the normals are fine because they still go towards building up his uh, passive anyway. All right, so there's our third attack. There's a fourth attack. Like, so we should be good here. I believe he's done building up. Like this is the last attack he needs. I think. I think it's five in total. Let, let me actually double check. All right, he's gonna transform. Nice. Yeah, the healing we did from getting the same type orbs last turn allowed this, to, this guy to transform, which is good. All right, so now we can do this. So let me just quickly check this. Yeah, it is five attacks. 
100% the stats and then 5 key. Alright, this feature go on. I don't think, has this guy even attacked a single time? I don't think so. Uh, but obviously in the middle here, he's going to have everything except for Sane Warrior Race. And then this is just legendary power that he's missing. I think I'm going to have him in slot 1, actually. Just to get him as many attacks as possible to build up. Let's do that. Well... Let's actually do this. We're going to have the domain next turn with uh, my feature Gohan. Are we killing on this turn? I think it depends how many attacks in feature Gohan does. Well, we're not doing that much damage here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I think we're probably not going to kill here, huh? Nine point two is pretty good for this guy. I mean, he could triple super, right? Yeah, we're not killing. Only did one. Okay, that's not lucky. Okay, so we're going to have the uh, domain up next turn, which is pretty good. I mean, we're, we're moving pretty slowly through this fight. I mean, compare this run to the run we did with Trunks in the prior video. We literally one turned every phase with Trunks because of how much damage Trunks does. I think... Yeah, I mean, it's just... Trunks' design doesn't really make a ton of sense if you think about it because Trunks is designed to last until he does the Sword of Hope, right? But, like, there's no boss that's living, like, a barrage of supers from Trunks when he's critting and additionaling and just doing tons and tons and tons of damage. This feature Gohan doesn't do damage like that Trunks does. So it's a lot easier to have this feature Gohan, you know, access his domain and stuff before the boss is dead. And this is the main reason why um, this is a perfect example, this turn right here is a perfect example as to why I didn't go crit on, on Future Gohan again. It's not that I'm saying crit is unviable on this character because he's not critting with his first five turns, pretty much, right? Because he's he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the, have the domain up. But now with the domain up, as long as he gets 24 key, like he's, he's critting guaranteed. And look at his key. Start of turn. He's got 21 key here. And he's orb changing. So it's pretty damn easy for this guy to hit 24 key every single turn post fifth turn. So, I mean, this is the main reason why I didn't give him a lot of crit. Um, you know, I am somebody who doesn't like to have turns where, like, one aspect of my hidden potential system is, is completely worthless. And that's what crit is on this turn here. All right, I mean, this is a good turn for him, of course. We have 344,000 defense. Now, keep in mind, his intro buff has now worn out. So he's missing 40% damage reduction from his intro buff. He still has the 20% base damage reduction, and he still has the 20% damage reduction he's getting after he attacks. So, I mean, he's still going to be at 40% damage reduction here, plus he's going to be stacking his defense for one turn every time he supers. Um, but he's definitely not as good of a slot one character post the domain activation as he is prior. But uh, I don't really care about this Frieza, so we're going to put him in slot one anyway. All right, let's do this. And then I think what we're going to do next turn is we're going to use the active skill with the friend feature Gohan. We're going to take out the AGL final form Frieza, and then we're going to head back to this rotation where we should be good to go and just kill the full power Frieza with this rotation. So we're going to hold on to the Galt gun, not use it here. Um, future Gohan should be able to just clean this Frieza up. I mean, the, the domain is insane. The domain adds so much damage. It's crazy. Look at this. Watch this. Right, so there's 11.8 million from Future Gohan. This is a guaranteed crit. He can do what, like four or five of these, and with the and the domain is active. Yeah, 11.8 million crit there. I mean, this is this is where this character becomes completely crazy. Let's go ahead and activate the active skill. Let me just make sure that this is uh, off. <laughs> Alright, so don't forget that once he activates the active skill, 
He's also getting the permanent, what is it? Yeah, five key and 20% defense. So if his key wasn't already good enough, I mean, he's never not hitting 24 key now, right? I mean, this is a pretty bad spot for this future go in terms of the key spheres, but he's still able to hit this with zero support, right? Very easily. Um, so here's the thing with this future Gohan now. Um, I'm pretty sure the way this works is the active skill will trigger his damage reduction. So the way his his extra 20% damage reduction works, um, let me just read it here. Plus an additional damage reduction of 20% and launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when key is 18 or more. So that key is 18 or more effect will be calculated when he attacks. But I think the active skill should also uh, trigger that to activate. So he should be at 40% damage reduction right here. I mean, this is an example of what I was talking about earlier, where it's like this future Gohan technically is going to be a pretty decent slot one character due to, due to his damage reduction, but against type disadvantage Frieza here, like he's at 355 with 40% damage reduction. Like he'll, he'll still take real damage from Frieza's super. I guess we should just see how this works anyway. We should just put him here regardless. I mean, there's no reason not to, like, I, I could very easily just do it, like, do this. I mean, this Vegeta hasn't attacked a single time, so his, his defense isn't great. Um, yeah, I'll just do it like this. We'll see. I mean, this this could work too, right? Putting this Int Gohan in slot one, he has his 50%, 58% damage reduction active. Let's just do it this way, and we'll see how this works. Let's see how he does here. I mean, we're killing him on this turn, right? It's just going to be how much damage do we eat right away? Is he going to super? I mean, the friend has some dodge, so... Is he not going to super? Okay, he didn't super, which means we're fine. Because after he supers, he's com this Gohan's completely fine. With the extra defense he's getting from the super attack effect. Okay, 9.5 crit. A normal crit for basically 3 million. <laughs> yeah, you can see how dumb this domain is. Like, these are not numbers we typically be seeing without the domain being active. It's just because of the domain being active that's turning this Gohan's damage into ridiculous ridiculousness. Yeah, so that's that was done. I mean, I an I anticipated him supering right away. He didn't. So. Um, I don't really think we need to jump into another event after this. I think we pretty much got a good look at how this Gohan is able to perform. I mean, we saw the domain active. We saw his active. We saw him perform early on in this. I mean, this is it. I mean, this is... This is this Gohan here. Okay. Uh, don't forget, of course, the, 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 with the domain being active, that's going to make the entire team hit harder. So these active skills from not only future Gohan, but from Vegeta and Trunks as well with the Father and Galaxy, like this is going to hit harder than it normally would too. So I guess the question is, do we think, <laughs> do we think the Father Son Galaxy gun plus future Gohan active skill? are going to be enough to bring this Frieza below 50% HP, because then we could pop Vegito Blues active too. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to do that much damage. We'll see. We'll see how much this does. Yeah, that's close. You know what's funny about this? If I had brought the Future Saga support memory, I think we would have done enough damage to trigger the Vegito active skill. Um, okay, I mean, we popped both those active skills that give extra defense to Future Gohan. So what is Future Gohan's defense here? 482. Um, okay. I mean, he's got 40% damage reduction here. I'm going to put him in... I mean, clearly, we could do this and, and guaranteed win by doing this, right? This is very obvious. But I'm kind of curious. If Frieza supers right away, we would take a lot of damage. I don't... Would we straight up die to a super? It, would he do 830k damage? Probably not. 
And if we super before Frieza supers, then of course we're probably not even taking any damage at all. But let's go ahead and do it like this. This is just to see how good Future Gohan does in slot one here. So this is going to be 11 orbs. Okay. His defense is going to be crazy after he supers. There's no way he takes damage. Um, Let's do this. Gonna not fuse with Vegeta here. Okay, he doesn't super right away. And he goes up to 11.8, remember? Guaranteed crit. And he's untouchable after he supers here, so. Let me know down below what you guys think of this LR Carnival Future Gohan. Pretty insanely dominant character. Uh, they did a really good job with his kit, his design, his animations. I think everything is top notch this unit. Yeah, look at this. The domain. It's just, yeah, this is this is, uh, this is the level of character we, we were looking for with this worldwide celebration. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.